Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at uh, some mounted ring weights. So I'll get these out of the box and show you uh, what's in them. Now these are really beautiful models that you can't actually get anymore. Um, but I've been picking them up uh, from eBay. Uh, I'd like to get the 9, but we'll, we'll start with these 3. <laughs> so cheers, I'll see you in a second. Bye. So guys, here's um, the assembled versions of the, the ring wraiths. Now, these models I've always wanted to get because they're so iconic. The, the black riders um, that uh, chase the hobbits all over the Shire. Um, so, there's some absolutely superb detail on these. I mean, the hats off to the sculptors. Um, the cloth on these is fantastic. If you just look in there. go it's just brilliant just look at that there'll be a little bit of uh, filling to do on these but it's nothing that I can't handle you got the reins to the, the horse there and the the eye the Eye of Sauron on the front. Now, I never knew that was there before, and uh, it's really good to use the imagery from the film to paint these guys. Also, another note is that they do have scars all over the horses, so the red scars that you see on them, they aren't just painted on. So, some superb flowing robes on these really nice gonna test my skill of painting black just really nice I'm gonna be trying to pick up a few more of these uh, well eventually I w I'd like to get the nine um, because uh, not necessarily for gaming but there's just something so iconic about having all nine on the horses and even I'd like to get the, the special special character versions all on horses. This is the one I finished painting up. At the moment, this is the only character one I've got at the moment. So let's bring it to the light a bit closer. Do like a mud effect there. I'll add this in at the showcase um, of my Mobile Knights. Uh, but very pleased with how he's turned out. But these guys are going to be so fun to paint. This one here, I've put him off center on the base because I want to do like a, a fence, like a, a wooden fence. So that'll be fun. I've got lots of balsa wood upstairs. So, so that's how they go, guys. And at the moment, they've got all the same arm. Now there is another arm available, and that's what I'll try and pick up on my next couple I get. Um, and I'll try and source the Witch King version, which that's going to be pretty hard. It's probably going to be quite pricey, but it'll be worth it because it's going to look cool. So that's the the ring race. Now the ring race are cool in the game. Um, the character versions are better because of their special rules, but you can include these in. Um, you can get them quite cheaply now. I think around um, just five points more than Nort Captain starters. So that's a decent amount of will there. Um, yeah, that's five points more than an orc captain. So, I mean, you've got all that will there, but they, they don't start with any might or fate. So you're going to have to buy that for five points each for each, each of the marks. And you start with seven will. Um, so, I mean, that's not a bad amount. Let's think. If you've got seven will, I mean, that that can keep some enemy heroes at bay for a bit and at the price of an orc captain perhaps it's worth it and it'd be more worth it than some um, than some uh, orc shark shamans however I think it's important that you should buy them the, the fate points at least um, 
but yeah guys um, let me know if you've got these models and what you think of them and um, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video